Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to everybody from around the world, from myself. My name is Carvin H. Goldstone, and I'm here as your host for the next 45 minutes. What a celebration we are having today. It's been an awesome day, beautiful concert. For those of you who tuned in, Bobby Wine Live, 217,000 views. That's how many people tuned in for the concert when I last checked. The highest at any given time that I saw was 18,000 people celebrating freedom on a day like today. And so it's a day of celebration, but it's also in some ways a sad day because we are also bidding farewell to a friend, a leader, a husband, a champion of freedom, Jules Martin. And this is a surprise to Jules. He didn't know that this is happening. He's finding out maybe for the first time right now that while celebrating freedom through the Bobby Wine concert, we are also using this as an opportunity to say goodbye. And Jules, wherever you are listening right now, I just want to say to you, there are lots of people who've made time available this afternoon and over the last week preparing this farewell to say goodbye and say thank you. Since 2016, all the great work you've done in sub-Saharan Africa, in this particular region, championing and leading the region, it's been an absolute pleasure for all those that have worked for you and worked with you and it's going to be expressed throughout. And just to begin us off, I'm going to invite the ALM, uh, ladies and gentlemen, President Gilbert Wadrago. And he's going to come and speak to us and address us and tell us what it's been like maybe working with you and how important your leadership has been in sub-Saharan Africa. How are you, Gilbert? I am okay. But You're looking well. You're looking good. Have you had a good day so far? Yeah, I had a good day. Thank you very much. And you? I've had a great day. So, Gilbert, I'm going to leave it to you, and you can take us forward, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, Gilbert, what drago? Yeah. Dear Gilles, my brief message to you is uh, certainly not uh, a goodbye. It is uh, rather to wish you well with your ongoing journey. I also look forward to continue working uh, relation with you at a global level. Uh, I want you to know that it was a very, very great pleasure for me to work with you. And I want to thank you for all you did, to thank you for your support, and to say that uh, we are proud of you too. And uh, on behalf of uh, the African Liberal Network, I want to say you thank you. and on my personal behalf. Thank you very much, James. Hello. Well, the next. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Gilbert. Uh, that was a beautiful message. And as you say, it's not goodbye. It's not forever goodbye. So, of course, yeah. we've got lots of people to speak to us. We have lo loads of people from all over the world who are here to speak to us and help us uh, spread farewell, at least in sub-Saharan African region. One of the people I'm going to call now is the ALN coordinator, Nangam Nangamso Quinana. Nangamso, how are you doing? Hi, Namgamsa, how are you doing? Very well, Calvin, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. So good to have you with us. Did you enjoy the Bobby Wine concert? Did you have a chance to see it? Absolutely, great messages that were shared with us there, but in a very homely, informal, and quite social manner. And also, I think a lot of the people who are online, lots of awesome comments going up. I watched it and I was quite, quite excited to see how supportive everyone was and how excited everyone was about Freedom concert and freedom in general. I mean, we had about 21,000 uh, people that were connected who were clearly interested to hear a digital message about freedom. Okay. Now, Mom, so I'm going to leave it to you. Uh, you've got a few words to share about Jules, and I'll chat to you in a little in a short while. Thank you, Carvin. See you soon.
Greetings to everyone. My name is Nangam So Quinana. I connect with you all from Cape Town in South Africa. I am the coordinator of the Africa Liberal Network and I've been very much fortunate to be working with Mr. Jules Martin since October 2018 when I resumed my role as the coordinator of the Africa Liberal Network. It has definitely been a fantastic journey working with Jules Martin and the entire FNF Africa team, whom I work quite closely with, in particular when I moved into the FNF Africa Regional Office in January this year. Uh, dear Jules, my message to you is definitely not going to be a farewell, nor is it going to be a goodbye. It is rather going to be bidding you a very positive journey as you move into your new role. I definitely look forward to continuing working with you at a global level, while I also continue to learn from you about how we may continue advocating for freedom in Africa. It has certainly been very, very great working with you. Um, I definitely enjoy your humor. I definitely enjoy the way that you've inspired me to look at how my work can be more efficient, more effective, but most importantly, more relevant on the continent. And thank you very much for sharing uh, the lessons of precision with me. They have definitely helped me um, in a great way in terms of how I do my work, how I value my work, and how I add value to the work that I do on the continent on a daily basis. Thank you very much, Jules. Looking forward to seeing you at a different level. Thank you so much, Nangam. So just tell us, um, as you're going now, are you going to work? Are you at home, you know, Zooming and doing these things now from, from uh, the way we're doing it in this situation? What is your destination after this? <laughs> My destination after this will definitely <laughs> be to grab some nibbles and continue connecting on this live stream as I watch the rest of the um, guests that will be gathered here today to share well wishes with Jules. So for those of you who are watching at home, please take uh, Nangamso's lead here and get some nibbles and watch this. I also want you to have a bottle of a, a glass of bubbly or Coke, something ready so that we can toast a bit later to freedom. Thank you again, Nangamso. Now the next speaker, He's also from ALN and we've been trying to get hold of him. Uh, it's been a bit of a, he's been on the road, he's been quite busy. But Clemens Dambouli is going to join us, and he's also got a few words to share uh, about Jules. Uh, Clemens has been on the road all day, so our first Zoom contact with him was while he was driving. And uh, I'm not sure if he said, if he reached his destination. Maybe he said, man saw before the elections, but he didn't are, believe are, have you, are you here with us, Clemens? I told him. Oh, <laughs> sir. Okay, so we're just gonna get Clement's microphone and try to get Clement's uh, try to get him his, get his sound and his mic sorted there. Clement Stambouli, of course, from ALN, uh, one of the people who work with Jules. Jules has a lot of people that love him. I think maybe while we're sorting Clement's mic out, it's a good opportunity for us to maybe move to some of the digital or the online video celebrations and words of of, of warmth that have been sent to you, Jules. And yes, a collage of different people from different organizations. I'll just tell you who they are. Uh, we have an address by Liberal International President Hakima Alahite. We have a contribution from Dr. Lamine Barr uh, from First Source Technology Zimbabwe, uh, from Interregion Economic Network Kenya, and from Gordon McKay. So let's roll that and let's hear what people have had to say. Jules, thank you for the work you have done in Africa uh, in try to have it, guys, one liberalism more time, and spreading our values. I would like also thinking? to thank um, you for the cooperation together with Eli, especially I think we try. through the first of its kind political startup incubator project. I uh, also remember how warm you are 
each time I'm meeting you in any event and how supportive you are to Eli. So I know that you are going to Potsdam. Our cooperation will not stop uh, in the borders of uh, Africa. I hope we will continue to stand together for freedom and dignity. Good luck. Hello, good morning everybody. Good morning dear liberal friends in Africa, in Europe, Asia and America. My name is Dr. Lamin Ba, former ALN president, and I am very happy today to wish our friend Jules Martin uh, all the best for his new position in Potsdam in Germany. We know that he will do a very nice job because we are very happy of the job he did here in Africa in the last past four years. Hallo Herr Martin, Matilda Nilovo hier. Ich bin Altstipendiatin der FNF und auch Mitgründerin von First Source Technology in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Wir als Team wollten uns ganz herzlich bei Ihnen bedanken für Ihre Unterstützung. Besonders hat es uns gefreut, dass Sie dabei sein konnten bei unserem Hackathon letztes Jahr in Victoria Falls. Herr Martin, wir als Team wünschen Ihnen alles, alles Bestens in Ihrer neuen Rolle. Hi Jules, uh, it's Max um, here from First Source Technology. Um, it was uh, such a great honor to have you grace uh, the Victoria Falls um, Emisha City Hackathon in 2019. Um, your presence marked a lasting impact to our journey which uh, began in 2018 in partnership with the FNF family in Zimbabwe, who have been of tremendous support to the youth in Zimbabwe and to First Source Technology. Uh, as an organization, we are truly indebted to the support you gave on behalf of FNF, and we will continue in ensuring that our shared values are realized in this beautiful and promising country of Zimbabwe. We wish you the best in your endeavors. Uh, hopefully we will meet once again uh, to share life's best uh, memories and to absorb uh, more of the knowledge and wisdom you have as we continue to tackle challenges that lay ahead of us. Um, all the best and thank you once again. Hello FNF South Africa and hello Jules. Just a quick message from me here in London to say thank you. Thank you for your hard work over a number of years fighting for liberal, liberal values across the world and most recently not only in my home country South Africa but also Africa more broadly. I want to say thank you for always agreeing to partner on great ideas and pushing new ideas forward. Um, I'm particularly pleased about the work that we've been able to do around digitalization and human rights and also the work that we started on helping African parties become more competitive within their political landscapes in order to really challenge for power. I want to say that I'm absolutely ecstatic that you'll be leading the international office at FNF. It's exactly what the global liberal movement needs and we look forward to seeing all the great new things that you're going to be doing. I'd like to offer a word of congratulations to Inga on her promotion and good luck to running the Sub-Saharan Africa office of FNF. I'd also like to say hi to all the staffers at FNF. I miss you guys very much. And I very much look forward to being able to work in closely with you guys on the digital agenda and driving forward liberal policies on frontier technologies. Jules, all the best and warm regards from London. Ciao. Hi, this is Bobby Wine. And I want to send special greetings to all the friends from the Friedrich Newman Foundation. Thank you very much for supporting the People Power Movement in Uganda. Thank you so much for supporting freedom and uh, helping us uphold voices of dissent yeah, as a right. Yeah, man, now I'm also sending special greetings to Mr. Martin as you move to Germany. May it all go well with you. Also greetings to my friends Mutoba, Genesis, Masichaba, all of you guys. Well, there you have it, Jules, messages from all your friends, all the people that you've worked with. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Carvin and I am a 
I'm a comedian and a journalist. And so I'm going to do a little satirical commentary here uh, on freedoms in Africa, in particular in relation to Jules and his time here. What is freedom in Africa, Jules? Freedom in Africa is the freedom to wear a Nelson Mandela shirt with a Fedoro hat, the Cuban hats that you like, and not to be pulled over by the fashion police. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what color it comes in. Now, people ask me all the time, what does freedom mean to, what does freedom mean in South Africa? Because as you travel the world, you realize it has different meanings. Well, this is my own story and how I intersect with African freedom. My, my last name is Goldstone, which is a, as you know, a Jewish name. And as many of you know, uh, Jewish people don't usually come in, in brown skin or dark skin. And yet, yeah, I am. So people ask me how that had happened. I say, well, my, my great grandfather was, was a Jew. And let's just say he wasn't eating the kosher meat. In other words, uh, he married a Zulu woman here in KwaZulu Natal. Yes, my great grandfather was a, was a Jew. And my great grandmother was a Zulu, which made my family the first generation of Zulus. Now that's freedom, the ability to become something brand new. And for those of you who know the history of South Africa, you know that interracial relationships weren't allowed. So without those freedoms, people like me won't, won't exist. Because on my mother's side, it's quite interesting. Her family came to South Africa from India and came the same way all Indian people came to South Africa uh, on a cruise ship. At least that's what I tell my children uh, when they ask me, how did we get here? I say, we came on a cruise ship and the ship didn't want to go back. The, see, the issue is they're too young for me to explain indentured labor or slavery to them, because I've tried, I have tried. I tried to explain to my little one that slavery is when sometimes they make you work for free, and uh, from time to time they might even smack you, and the only way they reimburse you is to make you, give you a place to eat or a place to sleep and something to eat. And she looked at me and said, but that's what you do to us. You make us work and we don't have anything else except the place to eat. Anyway, they are still my children. I haven't got rid of them. <laughs> now, as we know, in this pandemic, we are trying to all figure out what is the way forward. I think for many people on this continent in Africa, when our leaders, our presidents told us that we are going into lockdown and we must stay at home, for a lot of us, this was the funniest thing because we have been staying at home from unemployment since some of them took power. <laughs> That's the whole story of South Africa and Africa in general is that we have too many leaders who think that sending us into lockdown to stay at home was something new for many of us. It was a result of bad governance. And you know, the way the, the pandemic left China, left as a, a virus and got to Europe and arrived in Europe as a pandemic and eventually got to Africa as a business and not just any business, of course, as you've been, well, if you follow the news, a lot of politicians are, are struggling to keep their hands away from the jaw. Let's hope this changes in a world that's future, in a future world that's full of freedoms. One more thing, just before I leave uh, or invite Clemens Tambuli back. Uh, for those of you who know Jules, you'll know that he loves football in particular. I was informed that he supports a certain team well, when they said to me he likes Kaiser Chiefs, I couldn't help but in my mind ask, does he mean the band, the European band? They're like, no, Kaiser Chiefs, the football club. So Jules, as you leave South Africa, one of the things you will be leaving behind is going to watch Kaiser Chiefs play or, and at least the freedom of taking a Vuvuzela and screaming, pop, 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 throw Vuvuzela, because as I understand, whether in Germany or in the Netherlands, Vuvuzelas are banned because there is no freedom of expression. Okay, we're going to try to get Clemens Dambuli back to join us. Clemens, is he anywhere near right now? Clemens has been busy, so for those of you who are wondering why he's uh, maybe difficult to get hold of, he's had a very busy day, and he's been basically racing back to getting in contact with us. Have we got Clemens? Clemens, are you, are you with us? Are you able to join us uh, at this point in time? I see he is on. Hi, Clemens, are you there? Clement? Um, okay, we're gonna give Clement some more time just to figure out his, uh, his tech here. There. What we're gonna go is we got some more contributions. So I'm gonna introduce a few more speakers and they're all gonna speak or their videos have been submitted, which we'll play back to back. 
Francis Anthony from the Helen Sussman Foundation, Tammy Jackson from Progress SA, Michael Morris from the Institute of Race Relations, a contribution by Terence Corrigan from the Institute of Race Relations, Garrett Cliff from Cliff Central, John Stan Hazen from the Democratic Alliance in Africa, a contribution by John Endres, and a video montage that will be played by the FNF Sub-Saharan Africa office on the contribution of freedom in Africa. Hello, Jules. It's Francis and Tony from the Helen Sisman Foundation here. Uh, wishing you a wonderful return journey and uh, uh, a safe landing and good luck with the, the future. Um, I want to thank you very, very much for all your support for the Helen Sisman Foundation. Over the years you've been here, it is very, very highly appreciated. Uh, without the Frederick Fra uh, Nauman Foundation, we would not do the, the work that we can do. So thank you for recognizing that work and for helping us to do it. I've got some very wonderful memories of you. The best of the lot is, 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 is in you trying to persuade me in Brussels about the, the, the joys of eating those pota potato chips with mayonnaise. I, I thought this was the craziest thing I've ever heard. Uh, and you said, try it, try it. And I remember trying it and it was alien. I've got to tell you that before the lockdown, um, I went off to get some a hamburger and some chips uh, on a number of occasions. I said, no, I don't want tomato sauce. I want mayonnaise. <laughs> and the waiter freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely memory that uh, I hope that I can get to Germany and uh, that we can meet again uh, and talk about everything about potato chips. Uh, we won't call them French fries. We won't give Mr. Donald Trump that satisfaction um, or anybody else. But we'll we'll talk we'll we'll talk more. Uh, also about Beethoven, I've been talking to. Uh, Cecilia about Beethoven. She says, you've got a Beethoven project. Uh, I'd love to talk to you about Beethoven uh, and we can catch up then. Bless you. Safe home, safe to Europe and good luck. Hi Jules, this is Tammy from Progress SA. On behalf of Progress, I would like to say thank you for the contribution that you have made during your time as the Regional Director for FNF in Africa. Thank you for supporting us during our very uh, short time involved with the Friedrich Naumann Foundation. And thank you for always advocating for freedom and for the voices of young liberals to be heard. We really appreciate you and we wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavours. Jules, it's a it's a, an immensely sad uh, pleasure, but a pleasure nevertheless to be participating in this collective goodbye. Uh, our uh, our encounters over the years have um, have been too few and far too brief, um, but always rewarding, and I'm immensely grateful for that. I'm also very really grateful for all uh, your efforts over the years to make the contribution you have made to the uh, to the liberal cause, um, and we all uh, deeply appreciate that. And um, I wish you all the very best with your future endeavours. Thank you very much indeed. Jules, this is Terence Corrigan from the Institute of Race Relations. Uh, the Institute, as you know, has been a partner of the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for many years, several decades. And I'd like to go further to say that we are not any partner organizations, but we are kindred organizations. We are all weather friends. We have stood by each other in extraordinary times over the past decades. And you have had the pleasure, perhaps, perhaps the challenge, of being in South Africa when it is facing an extraordinary and tumultuous uh, set of circumstances, a really climactic set of challenges. Um, we sit with a raft of long-term problems, unemployment, poverty, 
uh, threats to uh, threats to property rights, uh, challenges to civil liberties, um, and in many respects, a growing sense of hopelessness. The pandemic that we are experiencing now, I think, is as much a metaphor for what has gone wrong with South Africa as it is a problem in its own right. You can take pride, I think, in the contribution that you and the FNF have made over the past few years. Um, we at the Institute would like to thank you for standing by us in our efforts and uh, know that you have stood, beside, uh, stood, stood with us, that we have stood together, uh, not just in a campaign for some minor technical changes, not for the um, deletion of a clause in this bill or um, you know, uh, striving for another half a percentage GDP growth, but that we have sought to challenge the narrative in this country, um, striving for that most precious of human experiences and aspirations, and that is human freedom. Thank you for your support. Uh, be assured that uh, it is most gratefully received and remembered and that we will continue and we hope to keep in touch with you. Um, the challenge, I think, for liberals is always a big one that we, particularly in challenging times, uh, find ourselves confronted by people promising easy solutions, uh, promising security above liberty. And with that, I'd like to end with a quote from uh, Lord Byron. Yet freedom, yet thy banner, torn but flying, streams like the thunderstorm against the wind. We have stood together against the wind and we will do so in future. Bon voyage and go well. Hi, Jules. I just wanted to say thank you very much for a number of years of extraordinary work and having been in your company and seen how much you care about liberal ideas, free speech, it's a great pleasure to have spent some of that time with you. And I know that wherever you go after this, you're going to keep doing uh, great things and fighting the good fight. And I know that the FNF in your absence in South Africa will continue to grow. Strength to all. And thank you very much for your contribution to our own liberal democracy. Hi, Jules, uh, from your friends and partners here in the Democratic Alliance, a huge bon voyage to you. We know we're going to see you soon, uh, and, but we wanted to just take this opportunity to thank you for the great partnership that we've had and the closeness that you've brought between the Friedrich Naumann Foundation and the Democratic Alliance, whether it's been through international study tours, local symposiums, uh, learning uh, opportunities. We're so grateful for this incredible partnership which enriches our political organization so much. We wish you well in the next adventure in your life, and we hope to see you in South Africa soon. Know you will always have a home here with your liberal family in the Democratic Alliance. Hello, Jules. This is John. Um, I just wanted to wish you all the best for your new adventures. And I can hardly believe how quickly the time has passed. Um, it seems like just yesterday that we sat together for a cup of coffee and a lovely chat. And I must say, I always enjoyed working with you, chatting with you. And um, yeah, it was really a great pleasure knowing you and uh, working with you, being with you. And I wish you all the best to you and your family.
Well, there you have it, Jules. All your colleagues, the FNF Sub-Saharan family, all telling us things that remind them of you or you remind them of. And of course, the fedora hats kept coming up. <laughs> so I'm not sure how many, I'm not sure how many of those you have. But it would be nice if you, uh, when you come on, and we're hoping that you do get to come on, to have one on. I know it's a bit of pressure. I don't want to put too much pressure. I did go through your profile. And there's one thing that I just want to say for all those who are friends with Jules on Facebook. <laughs> your country needs you. Okay. At this point, what we are going to do is we are going to phase in. I want to introduce the soldiers of freedom at the forefront of the fight. For the for freedom, uh, it's a picture montage. But we want to phase in a picture of Inga Herbs with a message from Inga Herbs. Greetings from the head office of the Friedrich Naumann Foundation in Potsdam. To say we have to say goodbye to Jules, and Jules, I would like to thank you for the work we've been doing together. It is a great privilege to work with a regional director and a boss who is so experienced, so innovative, always calm and very, very supportive. I look forward that we are not losing you and that we, you will continue to be my boss in your new position as head of regions here in Potsdam. Me, myself, I'm very much looking forward to relocating to Africa. I've been working on the continent during 15 years, first in Tanzania, then I came to do my MBA in Cape Town and I fell in love with South Africa and was privileged to work there during five years and then in West Africa. Now coming back, I look forward to work with the teams who most of all I already know, with you, the partners, some of them I already know and others I'm very much looking forward to get to know you better for freedom and prosperity in Africa and beyond. Uh, I welcome you at our inaugural Freedom Speech. The 60th anniversary of celebration of the Friedrich Naumann Foundation. Falling Walls. I'm, I'm not sure why, why it is called Falling Walls, but what we find politically is that one of the problems in Africa, what you need is innovation, what you need is new ideas. Okay, thank you so much, Inga. Now, we've been hoping and we've been praying that we will we'll be able to get the man of the moment in. I'm just trying to bring him in. Jules, uh, of course, many people are excited uh, about the times they've spent with you. They are reflective of the things that you've taught them. Uh, and now you're bidding farewell. Of course, uh, Jules, for those of you who know him, uh, one of the things I was told quite clearly about him is he has a very good sense of humor and uh, he enjoys a little bit of comedy. Jules, are you with me? I think he's just joined the broadcast. How are you, Jules? How are you? Wow, you've got the hat. <laughs> I have the hat. <laughs> well, well, so good to see you. I want to ask you a question. Are you at all surprised? Were you surprised? that people had gone to this extent to show love towards you? Totally. <laughs> totally. I, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought people were in lockdown and they're not taking it awfully seriously, apparently. No, I am, I'm extremely moved. And, uh, and it, is, it, is, it is very nice. It is, it is very funny. Uh, you were extremely funny. <laughs> it's very funny <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, and very moving. Uh, so yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much to everybody. 
uh, oh. a, a worthier and more more beautiful uh, farewell. Uh, thank you so much, Jules. And thanks from, from all your staff members. I think one of the things they wanted to do was, and they kept saying to me was, please uh, keep it quiet and make sure that uh, when Jules, Jules has a good sense of humor, let him have a good laugh. He's been to the Cape Town Comedy Club a few times, so he enjoys South African humor, he enjoys South African things. Jules, what's some of the memories or some of the most uh, memorable things about South Africa that when you leave, you will just stay with you forever? Oh, oh, there are so so many things. It is it is uh, it is one of the beautiful, most beautiful places we've ever lived. We loved we loved South Africa. We love Johannesburg. Uh, from you know whether it's uh, from the Cape to to the safaris, uh, the the wine obviously, uh, uh, and the people. Uh, it is one. The people are some of the nicest people we have ever met uh, in, in, in all our travels across, across the globe. Um, and now, that is something that we shall really, really miss. Now, I'm from Durban, um, so I live in Durban on, on the east, uh, which I understand that you visited. Durban Curry. Durban Curry. I forgot to yes. mention Durban Curry. <laughs> I want to ask you about that. How did you find the, the heat level of the, of the curry and the hot food? Fant fantastic, fantastic. I love it. Uh, it's, 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 just, it's just great. Uh, we, we're to, well. I am trying. Not not everybody in the family agrees, but I am trying to eat it <laughs> as much as possible. And you know, you don't you don't get that in India. It's it is it is it is the best curry in the world, as the, as you say in Durban, I think. And it's yeah. true. It's it's phenomenal. <laughs> okay, Jules, I'm going to give you an opportunity to say a few words, um, to say what you want to say, to pour your heart out, to cry if you need to cry. Uh, Everyone's family, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, take it away, Jules. Um, I, I would just like to thank everybody for for working with me and um, for the, the the cooperation that we had, and especially I think the creativity that we managed to bring to our work in uh, in South Africa, in Africa. Uh, we've started doing all sorts of new things, building on all the fantastic things that were already happening, uh, because so many things were already going extremely well. Uh, so I'm I'm pleased to having been able to contribute a little bit to that and to I think making the work that we do in Africa also better known uh, in in the foundation, which I think is fully deserved because the work is so good. Uh, so I'm pleased to have been able to, to do at least a little bit of that. I, I think I'm leaving too early. I don't have the feeling at all that I'm ready with the work in, uh, in Africa. But then again, I know that I will have an excellent successor uh, who really has a heart for Africa, has a heart for South Africa. So she will be excellent. Uh, and that's good. But even if she wasn't excellent, that wouldn't really matter very much because the people working in our region are so excellent themselves. Um, so the work would, I think, have continued as being very good anyway. Uh, it was a privilege to work with you. Some, some people in Africa under the most difficult circumstances, think of, of Zimbabwe and Tanzania, um, but of course everywhere in Africa, uh, the work is a challenge uh, because you know there are so many people running politics in Africa who do not have the best intentions. Fortunately, we work with people who have very good intentions and to support those partners that we are working with, I think is, um, is a privilege um, and, uh, and, and very nice to do. And I've, I found it a great honor to work with the whole team, uh, both in the Johannesburg office, in Cape Town, in, in West Africa, in East Africa, in Zimbabwe. Um, to help to help build that uh, that work. So I look back with great pleasure to this work. And yes, it will be uh, fantastic that I shall be able to stay involved at least a little bit, uh, also in the in the work that the foundation does in Africa. And I hope that I shall be able to support it also from my new position in uh, in Potsdam. Stop. 
Thank you so much, Jules. Thank you so much for your, your message and uh, for your continuing work. We wish you well from everyone in Southern Africa and the Sub-Saharan region. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Uh, I want to know, do you have a glass nearby? Do you have a glass of something to drink? Uh, just, I was uh, given a glass when I said that. You do have one. I just <laughs> want to make sure everybody that's watching the broadcast, wherever you are, do you have a glass? And we are gonna we're gonna raise our glasses to freedom in Africa. So everybody, is that your wife with us? You can join us, Eva. Welcome, it's welcome. It's How are you? She looks a little bit like my daughter, but <laughs> my daughter looks I'm, even younger. I'm, and your daughter is very beautiful, uh, Jules, and she obviously got her mother's looks. <laughs> Here we She's go. Coming as well. She's coming. Is she coming? Is she joining us? Yes, I have your glass. Take my glass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Welcome. So everyone is watching. You're only seeing me, but there's hundreds of people just watching us everywhere. Well, everybody, if you can just raise your glass. Here we go. Cheers to freedom in Africa. Freedom in Africa. Cheers. Freedom in Africa. Thank you once again, Jules, for your contribution and to your beautiful family for the sacrifices. We know your efforts here are not your own. It's a combination of people giving up their own lives and their own plans to make sure that we can follow this dream of making Africa a free place. And we appreciate you. We appreciate the family. Thank you so much. Well, we've reached the end of our broadcast. We want to thank everybody who's tuned in all over the world, wherever you are in the world. Uh, thank you for listening to the Bobby Wine concert earlier, the Freedom concert, really setting the tone. And yeah, at the after party, the conversation, and our farewell to Jules Martin uh, as he leaves the Sub-Saharan region. And thank you for myself, Coverage Colson, and everyone at FNF Sub Saharan Africa who put this together and made this possible. Thank you so much. And that's the end. Good night. <laughs>